December 24th, 2022, also known as Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving today. Uh, right now it is 6:10. Um, we have an easy three mile run, so shouldn't be too, shouldn't be bad at all, honestly. Uh, in the beginning, three miles was kind of tough, but uh, now that we you know we put some mileage in, um, it's not that bad. But yeah, it's pretty cold. It's 50 degrees again, so I'm wearing some tights, but it's an easy run. Um, I'll talk about what easy runs uh, usually consist of for me. But uh, yeah, other than that, man, let's just let's get this working. I under I know it's Thanksgiving, but we still can't take any days off of our on our training plan. So let's get this shit done. So, one of the questions um, that a lot of people have, not saying in my video, but in particular, uh, what are easy runs? So right now, I'm running my three miles, like I said. Nice, easy pace. Um, easy runs are where, sorry, I keep switching hands. Easy runs where you're able to talk and have a full conversation while you're running like I am right now um, it's kind of good when you have a buddy to run with so you know uh, how quick you're going how quick you're going sorry if it's bouncing sorry if it's loud as well but uh yeah, um, either that, either where you could have a full conversation and run at the same time, or you go off your heart rate. I don't know if you can see our heart rate right now. 150. Um, there's a method, it's called the Maffetone method. I believe I said that right. Where it's 180 minus your age. And that should be your easy slash aerobic uh, max beats per minute on that run. So mine currently um, let, let this motorcycle pass. Mine currently is uh, I believe around 160 ish. So I was already at 150. Um, I'm about to do a mile and a half already, but I'm taking it slower this run. I still feel a little bit on my ankle, so that's why I'm taking it a little, taking it a little bit slower. That's why my heart rate is at 150 right now. But uh, I mean, other than that, we're fine right now. I feel good, but like I said, it's that ankle. Um. Honestly, I don't believe it's Tanko. I think it's a little bit of shin splints at the same time, which is usual. I had a little bit of shin splints when uh, when I first started running, but I got it down. I was able to get rid of it. So with a few stretches. So we had to start doing that as well. well I'll talk to you right now. We get closer to the end. too bad uh, got in the groove about probably after a mile and a half uh, that's when I started feeling good got in a good rhythm which that's what it's all about I mean, once you get in a good rhythm you're good regardless of the ankle like I said 
felt good after that. Uh, let me tell you my time. I ran in 32 minutes and 30 seconds, so not too bad. Like I said, these are easy runs. They're supposed to be easy. Not hard. Uh, you're not supposed to really be out of breath after. But uh, it's cold, as you can tell. All the sweat coming off of me. And the steam because of how hot I am and how cold it is. But it feels good. So um, I'll talk to you about running in the street. Because it could be dangerous. And I have a few tips about how to run in the street and where not to run in the street. So when running on the street, as you can see um, during the run, I do run on the street um, here and there. So the park I run at, total around the whole park is two miles, is exactly two miles. So when I first started, uh, it's like, it's concrete mixed with cement. So it's like maybe a mile, yeah, a mile of concrete and then it's a mile of dirt and there's a lot of geese here so it's a lot of a lot of poop on the dirt sometimes but um park maintenance does a good job cleaning it um but uh i kind of got bored of the same route that's one thing you gotta do you gotta kind of find yourself multiple routes to run because it will get boring and repetitive after a while but uh yeah so i do since today was three miles uh i did a mile like half the park and then there's like an exit to go out of the park and then I go i go literally around the park but on the outer outer side of, of the park um on the street side but yeah um when i when, when running on the street it is dangerous uh you just don't know who's driving um if they're 100 percent okay or if they're texting and driving or on the phone like there's a lot of things that can happen when running which sucks um one thing i do recommend is when you're running on the street is running towards traffic um why towards traffic uh because at least when you're running towards traffic you can see the car coming to you um say the car swerves or distracted and starts uh tailing right right into you um you do have time to realize what's going on and able to move or try to move um i know there's been a lot of runners getting hit um while running on the street which is unfortunate it's not always the runner's fault sometimes it is sometimes it isn't but it's mostly the drivers but i would recommend running towards traffic because of that because if you're running away from traffic when the cars are coming from behind you um you can't see you can't see um i mean you could somewhat hear the car sometimes um sometimes there's dicks when i'm running excuse my language but when i'm running they have loud cars um as soon as they are about to pass me you know they rev their shit up trying to scare me which it doesn't because i expect it already but uh yeah if you're running away from traffic um it's not good because uh like i said you can't see you can't see the cars coming or you, you don't know what they're doing they could be swerving into right into you and you don't realize it so i do recommend running towards traffic so you could at least see the cars coming right at you um that's the only thing i could think of safety wise if you run at night you know you kind of want to wear something where um it has like reflective so if a car headlights hit you you know it reflects off of it so people can see you are running uh, i really don't recommend running at night um I know sometimes I do run early in the morning. Um, like today, it was early, but since the time change, the sun's already somewhat out or rising, so it's not dark. Um, before I would, when I would be running early in the morning, it would be completely dark. So I wouldn't run as much on the street. But now that the you know time change, the sun's up earlier, um, I'm able to do that. So uh, that's that's what I recommend if you do run on the street. It's just, want everybody to be careful you know be safe out there um but yeah let's get back into it you know i'm listening well listening to drake um i hope you can see this uh i've been i'm gonna start recording more on my gopro just so it's more convenient 
Uh, sometimes most most sometimes I'm gonna do it on my phone, but I rarely get Starbucks, ladies and gentlemen. So before you guys start saying I get a Starbucks, but when I do go to Starbucks, this is what I get right here. Um, that's my go-to. That's the only thing I drink from Starbucks, to be honest with you. It's super good. I like it a lot. Um, so if you do go to Starbucks, I recommend exactly this order. Go try it on time how you how you like it, cause I fucking love it. You sit up. Yo, good morning guys, it is Sunday, November 27th, 2022, uh, getting ready for our redemption run today, <clears throat> six miles, um, last Sunday's run wasn't, wasn't too good, um, so today's, like I said, our redemption run. But today I'm not gonna take uh, my GoPro with me. I kind of want to focus on the run today. So there's not gonna be a lot of uh, footage of me running today. But I will go ev go over everything, my stats, and how the one ran after the run. So yeah, redemption run. Here we go. Let's get to it. Redemption run done. I'm not gonna lie, it was a tough run. But we did it. Uh, I felt strong the whole run besides that last mile uh, I ran 6 miles in a minute and uh, an hour and 5 minutes so not too bad uh, yeah we'll go over my stats for now let me let me finish uh, changing shirts and everything yeah good run good redemption i'm proud of it so as you can see right here a redemption run was amazing um redemption not because it was six miles but redemption because last sunday's run was a disaster but as you can see in one hour five minutes and 50 seconds um we did beat well i beat my uh Six mile time by nine seconds. Nine seconds is nine seconds. So I'll take that. I felt strong. Um, first mile was pretty slow as we're going to go through mile time right here. So as you can see, 11.24, it was pretty bad. Um, not bad. I was just taking it slow. Uh, and then 11.27. Then I was probably slowing down a little bit more than the mile two. And then how to kick it up 11 minutes right there 11 minutes and one second the mile four 10 minutes 44 seconds mile five 10 minutes 43 and mile six 10 minutes and 30 seconds so little by little we uh up the pace uh that two mile time i would like to see a little bit lower um you know fine with that we made it up towards the end my training effect See, we're in orange, so we're highly approving on our aerobic. So that's pretty good. As you can see, we were easy. We were easy for like 12 minutes. Aerobic, we were doing good. My threshold and maximum was pretty good as well. I'm pretty proud of my... Oh, didn't mean to back out. I'm pretty proud of my threshold. Um, as you can see, nice and slow. Um, I was starting a little bit quick. I had to slow it down. Um... The ankle was bothering me just a little bit, but once I got in a rhythm, um, I was doing fine. See, right here, this is where I, I kind of slowed down right here. See how it's dark blue? Slow down a little bit because the ankle started bothering me just a little bit, not as much, but then we kept going. Got into rhythm right here is where from here, where it's just the auto shop. It's kind of up uphill, comes back down. Got into a great rhythm down here. Pretty good. Great rhythm. Great rhythm. Started picking up pace a little bit. Just a little bit. Slowed down. Picked up pace. It was pretty good. And then we picked up pace again right here. 
the dark blue again i walked right there that's because of the light from the freeway cars go for the freeway um went up to again this is like a little uphill because it's a bridge going over the freeway and then i had to stop again right here because of the light i really don't like stopping then started pushing hard and then right here green hit that five miles pretty solid then we started pushing it here and we ended it off well it was pretty good run. i'm proud of it how sundays one ran let's see let's go do sunday activities running and by the way uh for my monthly this is the most i ran in the month uh let's see june was 33 miles that's a, a month that's the the most miles i put in for a month we're already at 38 and the month doesn't end for a couple days uh, it is the 27th so i think we still got one more run ahead of us so that's pretty good but yeah uh last sunday's run let's see it was a four mile run um as you can see that's uh like i said don't want to talk about it too much but pretty bad um but yeah proud of this six mile run um it felt good sorry i couldn't take my camera i just wanted to you know focus and as you can see for next week's schedule flip over to next week two mile best effort with tired legs because we are going to have tired legs easy three mile run cadence trails two miles and next week looks like we're running 6.5 miles uh, that's going to be a new personal best right there 6.5 so that's gonna be fun but yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video this redemption run I'm super proud of uh how i did but yeah see you guys on the next video